There's a couple of mistakes students will make on a problem like this for the arctangent of negative square root of three over three. The first one is kind of getting confused with arctangent. Well, arctangent, guys, is just another way for us to rewrite the inverse tangent function. So if you want to look at it like that, then go ahead. You can rewrite it if you want to. So we have the tangent inverse of negative three over three. And again, what we're looking for when we're dealing with the inverse trigonometric function is the angle, the angle on the unit circle, but not any angle on the unit circle because we can only have one angle, right? We can't have multiple. And unfortunately, in the unit circle, there's four quadrants. Now, if our a ratio is negative, remember the ratio we're looking for is the y, or the ratio we're given is the y coordinate over the x coordinate. So that is going to be negative or that ratio could be negative in the second quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant. But if you remember the restrictions on tangent or the inverse tangent function, that is only gonna be contained in the first and the fourth quadrant. So therefore, we're looking for a point that is contained in the fourth quadrant. That is going to be our angle that will be our answer. So now we now to look at our possible angles that would be in the fourth quadrant that would give us a ratio of negative square root of three over three, and whatever angle produces that, that's going to be our answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at a angles in the first quadrant, square root of three over two comma one half. And if we put that into the fourth quadrant, technically it would be a square root of three over two comma negative one half. Now let's go ahead and find the y over the x to see if it simplifies to a negative square root of three over three. So I take a negative one half divided by square root of three over two. Since I'm divided by two on the numerator and denominator, I can reduce that to a negative one over the square root of three. Then I can rationalize the denominator to get the radical off the denominator. And now I have a negative square root of three over three. So we found our ratio. Now we need to understand, well, what exactly is that angle? This angle over here is going to be pi over six, but I can't go all the way around here because then that would get out of my restriction. So I have to use the negative version of that angle, which is going to be a negative pi over six. 